Now a story you'll see only on 10. Justice for Jessica. A grieving mother in Suffolk came to us for answers when she had lingering questions about a car crash that killed her daughter. Prosecutors say they did everything they could to get her daughter justice. 10 on your side, investigative reporter Julie Malay dug into the case and she joins us now with the story. Julie? Jessica Dazeel's mom wants to know why her daughter's boyfriend, who was driving the car when it flipped over, wasn't charged with more than reckless driving in the deadly crash. But as the Commonwealth's attorney explained to us, anything more than that is difficult to prove under the law. In fact, she says this is one of three recent deadly crashes in which reckless driving was the most serious charge she could bring. She didn't make it. Oh my God, I know she relax, didn't. Relax, relax, okay? They are the words no parent ever wants to hear. Okay, no. well, listen to me, listen to no. me, listen to me. I was begging them to let me go there because she, I didn't want her to pee by herself, so, but they wouldn't let me go, so. Judith Roberson's 32-year-old daughter, Jessica Dezeal, had been a passenger in this car with her longtime boyfriend and the father of her daughter, Peyton. I blame myself for letting her get in a vehicle with him. Jessica's relationship with the man was far from perfect. Her family says the couple had been on again, off again, with much of the off again due to his run-ins with the law. At the time of the crash, he was recently out of prison. He had previously been convicted of drug charges and sex acts with a minor. My head is wide open, my arms going up. Jessica's boyfriend survived the crash. What, what happened? Which way were you coming? I was coming this way and three deer come out of the woods. He got out of the car, but Jessica, even though she still had a pulse when troopers arrived, died while still trapped inside. I just want justice for her. I just wanted him to be held accountable for what he's done. It's heart wrenching but I can only operate in the confines of what we are um, permitted to do. Her boyfriend was charged with reckless driving. He was found not guilty. Commonwealth attorney Georgette Phillips wasn't surprised by the verdict. In this particular case, what the officer had was a single vehicle accident with no indication of speed, no indication of impairment. Phillips tells us in order to be charged with a more serious crime, she would need proof of illegal driving conduct, which she says she just doesn't have. The driver was never tested for drugs and alcohol when the crash happened. You couldn't just demand people give their blood or their breath. You have to have probable cause. We all may know something, but it's what we can prove. Our investigation found that the state police crash report does say, quote, I believe that had the driver never become distracted by attempting to light a cigarette, that the vehicle could have easily and safely managed the curve and continued on. No one can seem to remember where that statement came from. We just didn't have the evidence. Because no one witnessed the crash, we only have the driver's word as to what caused it. That means if he had been driving recklessly for any reason, investigators would never know. They definitely did their job with the um, limits that we have but we can always learn from everything we do. But a teachable moment for the Commonwealth does nothing but add to Judith Roberson's heartbreak. I think the laws need to be changed. I think the law is for the criminal and not the victim. My heart is broken for myself, but it breaks my heart that Peyton won't experience the love that her mom had. She loved everybody. The driver of the car is currently in jail on unrelated charges. He did not respond to our request for an interview. The state trooper who initially responded to the crash is no longer with the state police. We're told he left after finding other employment. The Commonwealth's attorney says she stands by the Virginia State Police investigation. I'm Julie Malay, 10 on your side.